basically at the top. Up there is the top of Freedom Mountain. And this is a good example of what all of Freedom Mountain is going to look like shortly. Trees like this are being destroyed. It's still moist up here. This is like it's such a unique ecosystem. Despite all the heat and all of the logging that they've done up here, it's still wet on the ground. It's not always going to be that way without these trees. This tree, it was... I can't even see the rings because of the chainsaw marks. But they're very, very, very tight. This tree, I would imagine, is if not 1,000, close to 1,000 years old. And something one of my old neighbors who's in the logging industry explained to me was that you might as well cut down the old growth trees because they're just rotting from the inside out. And as you can see, this poor thing was, it's not a problem, it's going to go for another 500 years probably. So is this amount of wood really worth the loss of this permanent, this permanent loss? This is what we're doing to the only remaining ecosystems. So when you think why the hippies at Fairy Creek have been there for over a year trying to protect the land, it's reasons like this. How long is it going to take for the world to regenerate ecosystems like this? Will it ever be able to regenerate ecosystems like this? Hundred years estimate in that amount of space. Two, three, four, if not more. Example of how they're just rotting out. You're not even getting the whole tree's worth. They fall the trees. The trees don't grow that big to begin with because they're up here. Their growing season is very short. <sighs> Like, look at this ground. Look at that. It's mushy and mucky. It's beautiful. Look at this. Devastated. Ancient tree. Older than many of the written human accounts on planet Earth. These trees have seen it all. Well, you know, they've been through it all. They've just been up here. This is what it means to be a Canadian. This is what we have to be proud of. I don't know if there's any way I can personally save the trees remaining up on the top of this hill. Perhaps by showing the world through my lens. I don't often get too emotional about things, but when I do, it's about this. hurts my heart and soul. Why did this have to get destroyed? This tree. Sorry, I'm not looking through the lens of the camera. Couldn't have that remained?
I'm grateful that I get to live in a place where this history exists. But I don't want it to be just that history. There's species of things up here that we don't even know about. We don't even know how to look for them because we've never seen them before. We don't know what kind of things they are. Like I said, I'm grateful to be up here. log off and go down the hill now. Be grateful for what you still have and fight for what is being lost. Hey YouTube, I just watched the video that you just watched as I'm editing it and this is my end clip and I don't even have the energy to take the towel off my head because I'm so upset. If you're gonna like and comment and subscribe subscribe. If you're going to like and comment on any one of my videos for any reason, please let it be this video for the reason that it might just, I don't know, pluck a chord in the right person's heart. Um, I don't think this is the end. I don't think this is the end to our old growth, but when you hear the statistics that oh, there's only less than 3% of our old growth remaining, the video you just saw is an area that was just logged within, well, a little bit over a year ago now, but they're working on it still. There's a picture in the beginning of the video of a meadow, and that meadow has tags going through the direct middle of it saying road center. So that would be the middle of a logging road. And the entirety that is Freedom Mountain will be completely devoid of ancient life that it once had. Um, trying to come up with words of inspiration or um, I'm stumbling. Please, let this hurt your heart. Let it make you cry. This is all we've got remaining from our entire planet. It used to be covered in ancient ecosystems. But that was so long ago. We got rid of, humans logged the old growth so long ago, and North America, and perhaps other parts of the world, but I'm not an expert on any of this. I'm just trying to stay close to home with my protest. The fact that we've still got trees, and the fact that we're still cutting them, just doesn't make any logical sense to me. 
I live in a community that's based on logging. It, it, it's why the community's here. But it's not why I'm here. I moved to this community because of the beautiful nature around me. And if we carry on at this pace, I'm sorry, but the nature being gone and the attitude of many of the people that we've got here, that the ancient forests just aren't worth keeping because the wood, the trees grow. It may be a thousand years old, but that's not a valued thing. The wood is more of more value, even though many of much of the wood is rotting from the inside out unable to be used um, this little end clip it is dragging on and I appreciate anybody who's watching this far I'm gonna finish it off there and just say thank you for watching please like and subscribe and comment why you think we should be putting an end to this thank you